Go. I'm Bob Christopher. I'm president of Anybots. Uh, I'm about to show you a, a demonstration of our, our latest telepresence robot. It's called QB. Um, I'm now controlling QB through my web interface, which is an open interface. I'm now watching myself because QB is over here looking at us. Right. I have a control system down here. I'm going to move QB around the room. So I'm going to go this way. See if I can negotiate around the chair. chair. Come back this way. Oops. <laughs> go forward. Can I go this way. And so that echo is because we're so close to uh, the microphone on both sides. Yes. So here I am now controlling. You see this here. I can look down and see where my wheels are at. So here. So we see Julie over there. Julie's over here. That means she's. How's it going? Good. Good. What have you been working on? It's a nice shirt you have on today. Thank you very much. Good, I'm glad you did. So, tell us, what, I mean, for the for the benefit of uh, yes. those watching this video, I mean, what 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 is what is QB about? What is QB is a remote control telepresence rule. It allows you to be anywhere you want to be for work, uh, for any kind of meetings. Um, basically, it's anywhere presence without being there. So I can go into an, um, a work environment. I can go into a meeting. I can be spontaneously. Uh, connect through QB to meet my office um, peers, or I can be at a client meeting with QB. Really, what we're doing is we're removing the barriers between people and work. And if you can't be there physically, we believe the new way you're going to be there is through a, a telepresence robot. Mm -hmm. So, unlike static video conferencing systems, um, it really we think is the new way of working is the ability to be physically somewhere go down the hall, go to a cubicle, go into an office, meet somebody, have a meeting, discuss things, collaborate, and then log out. So this, you know, the idea that you're basically transporting yourself into an environment mm -hmm. is going to extend the opportunity of how people collaborate in today in versus through video conferencing. Video conferencing is obviously, it's important, it's a growing marketplace, but it, it, it's tethered, tethered to a video conferencing system. Mm -hmm. Is tethered to a computer, and today's world is is very untethered. It's very mobile, and people want to be connected all the time. And it's a spontaneous meetings, spontaneous discussions that really we're enabling through QB mm -hmm. and also through telecommuting. So, be able to be at work without being physically at work is an important attribute. Right. So, it makes a lot of sense. On the other hand, I wonder, you know, are for the for the human being that's interacting in that meeting with the robot, I mean, what what are people's reactions to having, you and know, this robot roll up to them rather than the person that they were planning on having the meeting with, or sure, you know, like that. Well, the initial reaction is pretty interesting. People think, what is it? Is it is it an artificial intelligence robot that's mm -hmm. pre-programmed, or is it somebody behind the robot? And so the initial couple of seconds is kind of figuring out what that is, and then once they understand that somebody's behind it, mm -hmm. um, the the appearance or the focus of being a robot goes away. People dissolve that whole apprehension and it becomes very fluid. People start discussing and collaborating with their other people that are controlling the robot. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, what we're noticing is people enjoy the idea that it's a robot that they're communicating through. So they're, they're talking to you or somebody else or to me talking to me and they, they, it's a full discussion and, and so on, but it's also the, it's this interesting way of having that discussion mm -hmm. that is entertaining. People, right. uh, so it's, it's a bit of the kind of the awe effect initially. And then this is kind of a, this added value that you didn't expect to have. It's kind of a nice surprise. Right. So you wouldn't have that surprise through video Skype call or right. through typical video conferencing. Right. You have it because this way you're, you're you're experiencing somebody through physical presence, that physical presence mm -hmm. and the ability of if it, if it something moving, which in this case is the robot, and interacting with you adds many more dimensions to the experience. 
and it provides greater level of um, uh, appreciation for somebody who's controlling the robot, in this case, who's trying to obviously Got communicate it. with you. And, and the robot has a video monitor so that the person on the other end can see you when you're, when you're speaking? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's see. Here we go. If I see the monitor group, it uh, just says any box. Right, right, right. We'll have you, we'll have you, we'll have you we'll like to show real time video. We'll have a monitor. Along with that, along with that, which is pushing cotton. So I can see you right now. Right. Turn this. Because we're in the same room, we're going to see the echo effect here right. on the audio. But yes, we'll have real time screen which shows you'll see me talking to you in real time. Um, and then we're going to have accessories that go attached to QB, for example, a tablet or an iPad that you can push content out through. Okay. So I can have a virtual desktop that I can collaborate with you on through a QB. Great.